to be able to upgrade this school to a basic cycle school. And today, we are, we are one week into the activities of a school, basic cycle school. Um, I'm also very happy to see, after so many years, uh, after so much time spent uh, uh, funding and building them, these, uh, these fine buildings, uh, they are uh, good and strong buildings. And uh, if properly cared for, they will last uh, for decades to come. And I do hope during those, uh, those decades to come, they serve well their purpose as a place for uh, learning for the children who are here today and the children of the uh, future generations. He may be new in the country, but he has already started making his presence felt in the development efforts of the Smiling Coast. Ambassador Edward M. Alford is no doubt on the right path of taking up from where his predecessor stopped as he embarks on his first journey out of Banjul. What this country is, has done in the field of education is remarkable. You can see the statistics, the rapid spread of education throughout the country. There's a lot of work ahead. The goal that every boy and every girl born in the Gambia have the access to an education is a goal worthy of support by all concerned. And we at the American Embassy and the Department of D Defense are honored to participate in this goal. The governor of the region, Lamin Queen Jame, an erstwhile teacher himself, is fully cognizant of the need for a conducive learning environment as he urges the beneficiary communities to take proper care of the facilities. The community must always continue to have vested interest in coming to this school, in finding out what concerns there are, in finding out what problems there are, and in trying to work together in partnership with others with a view to providing solutions to any problems that may be prevailing in the school. Teachers would come and go, but the community remains. It is another major boost in the country's education sector, a sign of the fruitful bilateral ties between the Gambia and the United States. Samuel Ba, GRTS. Meanwhile, the new U.S. Ambassador to the Gambia, Edward M. Alford, has promised to play his part in the nurturing and enhancing the growth of Banjul Washington ties. America's top diplomat in the country was speaking at a reception hosted in his honor. The Kumadamba has more on that occasion attended by several dignitaries. The event held to formally welcome the United States 28th Ambassador to the Gambia, Edward Alford, who will be succeeding Pamela Ann White, whose tenure ended in May. Ambassador Alford has held so many diplomatic positions before his appointment to the Gambia. The president and government of the Gambia are satisfied with the appointment of Ambassador Alford, not only because of his impressive record in the diplomatic and foreign service, but because of his demonstrated commitment to fostering peace, understanding and meaningful cooperation between his country and the developing world. Minister Tangara paid tribute to the staff of the embassy for their devotion and commitment to the Gambia with special mention of former Ambassador Anne White, whose relentless efforts in consolidating ties between the two countries and personal involvement in social projects have contributed to the betterment of the lives of many Gambians. The government, he says, is proud to have someone equally competent, while urging the new ambassador to endeavor to learn about the Gambia and her people. As the American ambassador, I wish to encourage you to engage in meaningful dialogue with the government. I ask that you endeavor to learn about the Gambia, its people, customs and traditions. You should also effectively interact with the local population to make your tour of duty meaningful and enriching. For Ambassador Alford, having spent nine years working in Africa, this is his first assignment to West Africa and indeed the Gambia. He has heard so much about the country to get started with. I have heard the highest praise of Gambians and the Gambia from colleagues who have served here. And I've already begun to experience your wonderful country. I have been especially impressed by what I call the Gambian model of interfaith relations. 
respect, and tolerance, and goodwill between religions and between peoples are the hallmarks of the Gambia. And this is an eloquent testimony to the strength of the Gambian culture. Banjul and Washington enjoy smooth bilateral ties. This Ambassador Alford has promised to nurture and play a part in enhancing its growth. I will work diligently to further develop the good relations between our countries. The ties that bind us are strong. The ties that bind us are growing. Ancestral ties, economic ties, cultural ties, and a shared history together. Robust and increasing economic ties are making a better life for the people of our two countries. I will work closely with our friends in the Gambia to further Gambia's continued progress in developing agriculture, fishers, fisheries, tourism, and industry. As Secretary Clinton so eloquently stated, and I quote, we believe that the countries of Africa have enormous untapped economic potential that could and should be developed. We share a vision with many of you of a future in which economic growth in Africa would fuel growth and prosperity worldwide, end quote. Ambassador Alford is USS 28th Ambassador to the Gambia since 1965. With ties that link the two countries growing from strength to strength, both governments are looking forward to better prospects between Banjul and D.C. For GRTS News, I am Deiko Mademba. The Gambian Network of Aid Support Societies, GAMNAS, and partners are discussing means of raising awareness of HIV treatment, education, and advocacy for universal access to treatment. Fata Jassi reports the forum is being attended by a number of local NGOs and officials from the United Nations Program on AIDS. News. The Gambian Network of AIDS Support Societies, GAMNAS, in conjunction with International Treatment Preparedness Coalition and its partners, organized a training forum for treatment education and advocacy for universal access to HIV treatment in the Gambia. IPTC, an international organization bent on promoting accessibility to HIV treatment for patients in sub-Saharan Africa. The overall objective of the convergence is to build the advocacy capacity of people living with HIV and key partners for improved provision and use of quality antiretroviral treatment. And that was the reason for organizing such an important training workshop for treatment education and advocacy for universal access to treatment. It is therefore not only to help improve the quality of provision and use of antiretroviral treatment services as part of universal access by improving the quality of assistance to adherents, but also to establish a regional monitoring body that can alleviate stockout situations and ensure availability of quality treatment for all. Despite the quest to reduce the spread of HIV experiencing inevitable hurdles, significant progress has been registered. Therefore, very encouraging to know that countries are making very impressive progress. And we are encouraged and motivated by that. However, we know that there are challenges, and we continue to witness them, especially within the context of the gains that we have made, which are very fragile. It is therefore important that we renew our commitment, partnership, and leadership in order to sustain and bring the dream of 